One of the things we've been wrestling with is how on earth do we sort of expect the unexpected? Over the last 20 years, the, the UK manufacturing base has reduced and we've seen the impact of that now in terms of shortfalls of critical supply chain medicines. COVID has challenged not the individual businesses, but the, the, the industry as a whole. It's challenged the globe as a whole, and you know, that includes not having the right kind of capabilities in country to, to play our part either to protect the, the health of the nation or to play our part in the, the international response. We have public health uh, issues that are unresolved all around the world. And they're unresolved because we haven't been able to uh, uh, mobilize the science yet to that. But the science is just advancing at a colossal rate. And that means the challenge to manufacturing and to supply chains will come along thick and fast. Uh, and we've got to get ahead of that. We don't really know what diseases are going to come along in the future or how the best treatments will be created. And I truly believe that's why we need to be agile and have flexible facilities that enable us to manufacture whichever is the best route. We're absolutely passionate about getting large-scale biological manufacture into the UK, particularly in the north of England. One of the things that we've been talking to NHC about is how we enable people to be able to be trained and retrained really quickly. What we're doing here at the NHC is we're taking all the technologies that are available to us to deliver our training courses. So we have a virtual reality where we can train people wherever they happen to be in the, in the country or in the world um, in the same technologies that we have here at the NHC. We then offer theoretical lectures and training and then that's really solidified through the hands-on training on the same equipment that they've been using in the virtual reality here at the NHC. I'm excited about how the opportunity to try at very low risk can really accelerate the time to competence. To be able to do the virtual reality a simulation early really helps us to shorten that sort of timeline from finishing the build of a facility and then being able to get into full-time production. I see the NHC getting people trained and competent as soon as possible and ultimately that will be the NHC enabling medicines to get to patients faster. That's what we're all here to do. We're all here to try and provide the right sort of health and, and medical solutions to patients. There's a lot of countries out there, including ourselves, who don't have the capacity and capabilities to manufacture the amount of vaccines and medicines that we need. So we will see in the future um, Cytiva Flex factories popping up, for example, all over the globe. And at the NHC, we want to be able to support that and deliver the training for those people to, to then go on and manufacture the, the life-changing medicines. What the pandemic has shown us is that actually when people do collaborate, we can achieve things in extraordinary time. So instead of it taking 10 years to create a COVID vaccine, it was done in 300 days. And there's already talk of how can we make that 100 days? How can we do things faster? And if we can do it for COVID, why can't we do it for malaria? Why can't we do it for other horrible diseases? Individual companies or individual organisations or individual governments on their own are insufficient. Working together is uh, absolutely the essence of uh, fast response and, and global response.